Residents of Kibbutz Masada in northern Israel took refuge in a shelter after a warning siren sounded twice. The Israeli army said it suspected an aerial infiltration from Lebanon into northern Israel, although it later said it had not identified any aerial intrusions from the north. More than 2,300 people in Israel and Gaza have been killed, with thousands of others injured, since Hamas militants launched brutal attacks on Saturday, prompting Israel to declare war and to form an emergency government. U.S. President Joe Biden reaffirmed that he and his national security team are working day and night on the conflict and said he and Vice President Kamala Harris had spoken again Wednesday with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. And this moment, we have to be crystal clear. There is no justification for terrorism, no excuse. And the type of terrorism that was exhibited here was just beyond the pale, beyond the pale. As I said yesterday, my commitment to Israel's security and the safety of the Jewish people is unshakable. Biden dispatched his top diplomat, Secretary of State Antony Blinken, to Israel as a sign of solidarity. Before departing to the conflict region, Blinken had this to say to any country that might try to take advantage of the situation. The president has deployed, as you know, uh, the world's largest aircraft carrier group to the region to make very clear our intent to deter anyone contemplating any further aggression uh, against Israel. Blinken said uh, that the U.S. is also focused on its own citizens, own that 22 Americans have died and that number could go Americans. up. The White House said 17 Americans were still missing and the administration had no information on their condition. At the United Nations in New York, Secretary General Antonio Guterres said he is in constant contact with leaders in the Middle East and is worried about a spillover of the conflict in the region. I am concerned about the recent exchange of fire along the Blue Line and recent reported attacks from southern Lebanon. I appeal to all parties and those who have an influence over those parties to avoid any further escalation and spillover. Guterres also called for Hamas to release all Israeli hostages, emphasizing that civilians must always be protected and that international humanitarian law must be upheld. He said that about 220,000 Palestinians are now sheltered in 92 UN facilities across Gaza and that UN premises and hospitals, schools and clinics must never be targeted. Later Wednesday at the White House, Biden joined a roundtable with Jewish community leaders to express his condolences and his unwavering support for Israel following the Hamas terror attacks. Cindy Sane, VOA News.